Namaste and hello. Welcome to the Yard of Yoga Project. My name is Jerome. Thank you for taking the time to practice on your mat here with me today. We're going to be going over a visualization meditation. So what is visualization? Visualization is like a movie for your mind. You set all the characters in it yourself. You decide where the movie is taking place. You decide what it should look like, what's going on, the type of action that's happening in your movie. This is all part of visualization. So why is it important? Visualization is important because it helps you plan for the future. You can use visualization as your guide to make the correct steps to get to where you want to go. Here's a good example. So in professional sports, a lot of top level athletes use visualization to help them win games. Let's take Steph Curry for example. Steph Curry, when he goes through a visualization, will visualize himself passing the ball to his teammates, making sure that pass looks good, that they're in the right place, that they're open. He's going to visualize where he is on the court so that he can get an open pass. He can be in the right place behind the three-point line. He can visualize making that jump shot, the way his arm's going to move through that motion, the way the ball's rotating through the air, and how it lands through the basket. These are all things you can do to visualize to help you stick to your game plan. So. For today, we're going to do a small warm-up, and then we'll go in, right into our visualization. All right, let's start standing. Good, we're going to go feet hips distance apart. Inhale, arms overhead. And exhale, draw the shoulder blades together as I pull my elbows down the back. Inhale, arms up. And just drawing the elbows down again one more time. Once I get here, my shoulder blades are squeezing together on my back as I exhale. Just a few more times. Inhale. And breathing out. Good. Inhale. Two more times. Very nice. And last one. Inhale. Good. Next, we're going to go into some side stretches. So I'm going to use my breath to go back and forth, bending my knees. Now, as I start to move through this uh, exercise, I want you to use your breath to start going lower into the pose, okay? So I'm gonna take a big step with my right leg, kind of hold here in the side lunge. Inhale, start to go left. Straightening the right leg out. And back. Deep breath, and then exhaling, switching sides. Deep inhale, and exhale to the right. So now I'm starting to lower my hips. I'm getting closer to touching the ground with my hands. Inhale, switch back. And just going back and forth. Now I can start to walk my hands across and I'm resting my hands on the floor. Just walking, 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 using the breath to switch sides. All right, last two here. And starting to come up. Working your way back up. Good. All right, 
now we're going to take a nice wide stance, feet out hot, wider than our hips. Take a deep inhale and exhale, forward fold. Start to bring your hands down to the ground. You might be kind of out farther wide if my legs need more room. Now if I can straighten my legs and bring my hands closer to my feet, I'm going to get a bigger stretch. So if I'm not that flexible yet, we're not quite warmed up yet, then I'm going to have my hands out a little bit farther than my feet. That's okay. Just want to keep my legs straight. Take two more breaths here. Maybe as you get deeper into the stretch, your legs start to open up. You can start to bring the hands a little bit closer to the feet. One more breath here. Good. Now I'm going to inhale, bring the right arm up. And then exhale, reach right arm to left ankle. Hold here for one. Inhale, arm back up. And exhale, bring it down. Inhale, left arm up. Exhale, left hand to right ankle. One breath here. Inhale, bring it back up. And exhale, back down. Good. Back to the right side. Inhale. And exhale, left ankle. One deep breath here. Inhale, back up. And coming back to center. Inhale, left arm up. Exhale, reach for right ankle. One deep breath. And come back up. All right. Hinging at the waist, just coming back to standing. Good job, guys. Just a couple more little stretches to warm up here. Good. We're going to go into breath of joy. So breath of joy is a three-part breath. I'm going to take two breaths on the inhale and then one breath on the exhale. So hands down by your side. Inhale, arms open. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, arms open. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, forward fold. Two more. Inhale, arms open. Inhale, arms up. And exhaling. Last time. Up and out. All right, guys. Good job. We're going to finish with some body taps. Just bringing the blood flow to the surface. Deep inhales through the nose. Keep breathing as we work these body taps. Good, good. Tap, 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 tap. Just vigorous, making sure to bring some of that feeling onto the surface of the skin. All right, good job. One more deep breath. Maybe do some arm circles to Finish warm up. All right, and go ahead and come to a seat. So, our visualization meditation today is going to focus on broken relationships. So, there might be someone from our past that we kind of hit a rough patch with that we don't talk with anymore. And I want you to think about the situation that brought you to where you are today in the relationship. So maybe you're not talking with this person anymore. Maybe you don't have good feelings towards this person. Just think of someone from your past that you have a broken relationship with and that you want to fix. So just letting you process through that. 
Our check-in question today is this. How are you feeling today in your body? And how are you feeling today emotionally? Now this might not have anything to do with that um, visualization meditation, that broken relationship. Just checking into the present. How are you feeling today? How's my body feeling today? Good. And now we're going to go back to that visualization meditation, that broken relationship that we want to fix, just kind of allowing the wheels to turn. If you haven't thought of anyone that you want to fix a relationship with, just take a few more moments. As you're doing that, we're going to work our way down to our mat. So we're going to be sitting on our mat, shoulders on the floor, laying down. I'm going to put my feet on the floor with my knees bent. Okay, giving you a minute to get settled in. Again, we want feet on the floor, knees bent, laying down with your shoulders back. All right, so just kind of thinking about this person that we might have a broken relationship with, and we're going to put that away for now, okay? Coming back to the present moment, we're in our bodies, feet are on the floor, we're going to take a few deep breaths together just to settle into the space, give you some time. So just wherever you are, breathe in through the nose and exhale. We're going to do that two more times. Deep breath in through the nose. Fill the chest, fill the belly and breathe out. Good. Last time, deep breath here. And exhale, let it go. Now before we get started into the visualization, we're going to just continue with our breathing, help that get us into the right state of mind. So I'm going to take my left hand onto my belly and my right hand onto my chest. I'm going to feel my body breathing, okay? So I'm going to take a deep breath in through my nose, fill my belly full of air, and allow the belly to soften as the air fills my belly. Now on the exhale, pull your belly button into your spine as you exhale. Good. Inhale again. In through the nose. Fill up your belly. And then same thing on the exhale. Pulling the belly button into the spine. We're going to take some time just repeating back and forth. Inhale. Exhale. Just a couple more on your own. Allow the shoulders to relax. Allow the tops of the legs to relax. Start to feel heavy as you breathe out. And last time. Good. Now. Let's go back to that broken relationship that we want to fix. During our 
visualization meditation. I'm going to give you some cues and you can just spend some time with your breath to start to visualize and see your movie a little bit clearer. So I want you to first visualize the person that you want to talk to. Visualize what their hair looks like. Think about what they're wearing. Maybe they've gotten a little bit taller since you've seen them. What expressions are they making on their face? Are they excited to see you? Are they not excited to see you? What expression are they holding on their face? Start to visualize maybe their eyebrows and their lips. These are parts of our face that are very expressive. And then start to think about, start to think about where you're going to meet this person. Are you inside? Or are you outside? Think about whether you're sitting at a table. Are you outside walking together somewhere? Are you standing up talking? Think about where you see this person. Take a few deep breaths and kind of color in your picture with the person's features, what they look like, what they're wearing, how they're moving, and the setting where you guys are meeting. That's all I'm asking you to do for now. Go ahead and take a couple breaths in. And breathe out. Maybe it's in the middle of the day that you guys are meeting. You might be meeting at night and you might be inside. Is there a lot of lighting? Is it dark? Is it raining outside? Maybe you can hear the rain. Maybe you can hear cars driving by. Just thinking about the setting and what this person is looking like. One more breath for this. And I want you to think about what you want to say to this person. You might bring up what happened in the past and why you're angry at them. Or maybe you want to, you called them into this meeting so that you can apologize to them. Whatever it is, start to think about what you're going to say to them. I want you to imagine how you're going to say it. If you're going to say it in an angry voice, if you're going to be nervous when you talk to this person, when you see this person again, if you're going to say it, if you're going to talk really fast, if you're going to be very quiet and kind of standoffish, how is this interaction between the person you are meeting and yourself going to go. You can visualize also what you'll be wearing, your expressions on your face, and start to see yourself interacting with this person. Just keep breathing, 
Think about how the interaction is taking place. And now I want you to think about what their reaction is to what you have to say. Maybe they're surprised or angry. Maybe they're understanding and forgiving. Maybe you're the one who wants to forgive them for something that they did. Start to visualize the action, the movement. Maybe somebody's hands are moving fast while they talk. Maybe they want to stand up or you want to stand up with, from what they're telling you. Just imagine how the interaction is going on and how they're reacting to what you're saying. Let's take three more deep breaths into the belly. And last time in through the nose and out of the mouth. Now, before we go, I want to do a checkout question with you. Um, I want to know, or I want you to think about how you're feeling after doing this meditation. Are you feeling a little bit lighter, a little bit more calm? Do you feel clear about maybe actually picking up the phone and reaching out to this person to talk to them about what happened? How are you feeling afterwards? Go ahead and reach your arms over your head. Give yourself a full body stretch. Wiggle your fingers and your toes and start to come up to a seat. I wanna thank you for practicing with me here at the Art of Yoga Project. The light in me sees and honors the light in you. Namaste.